Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland. Here with me is Tabitha Matarin, Chair of Suboptics Diversity, Inclusion, and Belonging Working Group. Tabitha, welcome to JSA TV. Hi, Laura. Thank you very much for inviting me to do this interview. And hi, everybody, for, for joining us as well. Let's start at the beginning. Why was Suboptics Diversity, Inclusion, and Belonging Work Group created in the first place? Well, first of all, I would like to talk about a Suboptic Association. Uh, Suboptic is a nonprofit association that was established in 1986 and is active in the international undersea communication industry and best known for the convention uh, event that uh, takes place every three years. Uh, widely considered to be the global summit of submarine cable community. And uh, in the Suboptic Conference in 2019, and the association got a broader uh, uh, approach, more, more objective, you know, and because they, they got a new, a new elected uh, committee. And, and instead of only focusing in the event that happened three years, they want to offer um, more activities to the members and to the community. And they involved involving in education. They created a fund for education. They also have online resources. They, they, are, they, they create a, like a new platform uh, using Hybrid, where all the members can access all the information, presentation, and because the, the, the association has 30 years, all the documentation that, that the, the people can access, videos and conference like this, or, or workshops or webinars and online. And they also created working groups. That's where they created diversity and inclusion working groups, along with other working groups, uh, technical uh, working group as well. And I have been working in this working group uh, since the creation in 2019. And I have the honor to share uh, the group uh, since uh, the beginning of 2020. The working group was created especially to foster innovation and to attract diverse talents to the industry. We want to promote cultural and ethnic equality, uh, respecting and valuating differences including but not limited to age, gender, ethnicity, religion, disability, sexual orientation, and underrepresented markets. Today, we are 12 members active working in this wonderful working group, and we belong to different companies in the industry. Kevin, let me ask you about mentoring. So the mentoring group, this is the group's second round uh, of your mentoring program. So could you tell us more about the mentoring aspect? Yes, actually, well, we, the first edition was really a success, and we have 31 participants. And but the but the, before that, when we created the, the this, this mentoring program uh, in association with the with the Suboptic Association, we have the support of the association, and we want to promote and develop cultural alignment, uh, cross functional integration uh, through the industry, and develop um, career development for the subsea industry. And the program was created to encourage the expert to share the experience that they have, to share with the new generations of, of workers that, that are going to be replacing uh, the experts today. And the DIB, um, we aim to make a mentoring easy. So that we create like a framework to help the mentors and the mentee. Also, we are the team, the committee, the, the Suboptic uh, Mentoring Program Committee is supporting the, the, the program by we're pairing the, the teams, the, the, the best match we think, we, uh, um, considering uh, language, time zone, where the people is located, experience, what they are looking for. Uh, and then so they can spend quality time together, okay? And, and we provide a handbook. We create a handbook with easy steps so we can guide them to use it. And, and I think we receive very good feedback about uh, using that, that tools from them. And Tabitha, you mentioned you're getting a lot of feedback and success from the program. With 16 mentees completing the first round, the first initiative, what are some of the stories that you're hearing about how it's helping the participants in the program? What are you hearing? Well, we receive a great feedback from, from the participant of the program. And we have networking session, sessions that 
we participate and and allow them to to express what their feelings are, what the experience, and also uh, suggest any improvement that we can make in, to the program. And, and I can share with you one quote from, from a mentor, for example, that we received, uh, but, and let me read it really quickly. And this is from Eve uh, Rilish, Product Marketing Manager for Optical at Cisco. She's a mentor. This mentoring program was terrific. I got to use all my business skills to guide my mentee on this journey, as well as help out with some simple solution. Sometimes it is just take them and tell the boys their concerns or weakness. And this program is designed to help them. So we bring more folks into the subsea fold as some of us leave it. With filling the gaps in optical transport with smart young people and addressing the diversity needed to change the environment, this program is a huge help to all. Let's all keep it going. Wow, that's a powerful testimonial. That's wonderful. And and just a testament to the great work that that the program's doing and going in for round two. Let's let's take a step back for a moment. So as you mentioned, your your experience and you've got more than 23 years experience in the telecom industry. How do you think everyone in the industry can pitch in to support the future of the industry? Well, actually, I really believe it is in the interest interest of the entire industry and society at large to support the recruitment, development, and encouragement of young minds. So we we're facing a big challenge today, and that support, guidance, and imparting information are crucial aspects of career development. But taking the time to share experience can be difficult, especially when the market is a busy and professional are, you know, stretch and, and, and stress and, and, and working. Um, so during this busy time, it is a challenge to find the time to help others. But if recent times have taught us anything, especially with, with the COVID, with everybody happened, is the importance of society. And that it is only by working together that we can all achieve success. So I'm really encourage all the people in this industry to join the program. And when I'm talking about the industry, I'm talking about a lot of broader companies because maybe before 20 years before in the past, we, we thought about telecoms, about the companies who communicate the world. But now we are the telecoms, we are the data centers company, we are the hyperscale and OTTs, the content providers, all together power the internet. So we need to work together and that's what Suboptic create this mentors program. And we, we, everybody can be a mentor, everybody, because we have different kind of mentees. The mentees that are in the middle of their career, the mentees that are entering a career. And also we wanted to grow this program to go to high schools, to go to the STEAM program. You know, so it's, it's, we have to let them know that we are here powering the internet, that this is, that this is a community that are welcome them and that we want to teach them what, what we can offer. A wonderful platform that you have. I want to talk about where um, our listeners can go to learn more. So we talked about getting involved. So where can they go to learn more about the mentoring program or the working group? Uh, where where should we point them to? Well, they can they can go to the webpage in suboptic.org, and also it's directly they can uh, write to our email dib at suboptic.org. I hope you can see the, the the address there. You send us an email, and we write back to you. We we have. Um, forms that you quickly um, fill in uh, with your information and we put it in the, in the program. So we are promoting the program for the second edition in the, in the next two months. And we hope we can start finding in, in January, in December, or maybe in January to start the year. And, and well, contact us. And, and, and we have a LinkedIn group as well for mentoring programs suboptic if you can join us as well if I find us there uh is suboptic mentoring program there yes. and thank you very much dsa for for this opportunity absolutely well lots of places to check it out get involved take a few moments and just uh browse around working groups mentoring and get what you can um, and we appreciate your time so much tabata for for sharing with us and sharing with us this opportunity uh, for our industry thank you thank you very much and thank you viewers for tuning into JSA TV and JSA podcast. Happy networking.